continues her mission to find more airbenders. Next stop, the walled city of Ba Sing Se. Yes, I can't wait to get to Ba Sing Se. Chapter 3, The Earth Queen. What does Ba Sing Se like now, I wonder? Remember, you want to be quick and evasive. Don't worry about me, little lady. I've been in a scrap or two, you know. <laughs> Once I punched a demon right in the face. Wouldn't want to hurt a kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was amazing, actually. Kai, that was just really good. Thanks, Janura. You're a great teacher. Mm hmm. Oh, what did he take? Mm. Did I drop my wallet? That's just stealing for fun. I mean, they're giving you room and board. He's just showing off. Give me that, you little thief! <laughs> it's so exciting to be on a diplomatic mission to Ba Sing Se. What's the Earth Queen like? What was the Earth King's name again? The guy with Bosco? Is she his daughter? Granddaughter? It's gonna be really interesting to see what Ba Sing Se looks like now because they had such weak leadership. I mean, the king was a good guy, but he wasn't a good king. And obviously it led to total takeover and destruction of the city. You can imagine that there would be a swing the other way where they want a strong leader, right? Where they are trying not to relive the mistakes of the past. I just read the comic Imbalance and there's a part where the villain of that story kind of alludes to Ba Sing Se as an example of weakness. Like weakness in the world that allows the Fire Nation to conquer. I wonder how many airbenders are down there. Oh, uh, what's... Oh, okay. Oh, looks great! Oh, not so great. <laughs> they still have the outer ring, right? Yikes! Oh, the lower ring looks terrible. It got worse. Yeah, I can smell it from here! No wonder Dan left! What about Iris Tea Shop? Silver lining? It's exciting. It is a pleasure to welcome you and your party to the upper ring of Ba Sing Se. Oh no, the, the queen hates animals. We've got to no. get out of sight. I don't need to say anything more. I know based on that that I like the Earth King better than the Earth Queen. The best and most humanizing thing about the Earth King was that he loved animals. Bosco was what completed him in many ways. I have to taste her food first, then she eats, then you can eat. Better yet, just don't eat. Seems like an awful lot of rules. Oh, you have no idea. And I'm the one who gets in trouble when people don't follow them. So please, please, for my sake, just try not to upset Her Majesty. Maybe you shouldn't bring Kai on this journey. Not this leg of the trip. May I present Avatar Korra? There she You're is. You're ruining the Koi Pond! Oh no. Your Majesty, I was hoping you could- I hardly think you're in a position to ask me for favors. After everything the last Avatar did to the Earth Kingdom, he and Fire Lord Zuko took advantage of my father's weakness and stole our lands to make their own little empire. The United Republic is Earth Kingdom territory. Oh. So it's his daughter, the king's daughter, and she's referring to something that happens in the comics. I think it's the comic trilogy, The Promise, where they're trying to figure out what to do with a fire kingdom colony in the Earth Kingdom. And the compromise they eventually reach is that that city becomes its own entity. Take advantage, that's a huge oversimplification of things. And if I remember correctly, Aang didn't side with anybody. I think he was just trying to keep the two sides from fighting and they eventually reached a compromise. I think the Earth King was on board with it. I... Uh... I'm not sure what I can do about that. Should've read the comics, Cora. We have to find him. What's the point? He obviously doesn't care about us. But he's my new little brother. He's probably lost and, and scared. Fine. Bolin and I will find him. I also just watched the animated short Republic City Hustle, which I recommend. If you guys haven't seen it, it's on YouTube. And that gave me some insight into Mako and Bolin's character and their reactions to Kai. One thing it helped me realize is that Mako has always been the one kind of keeping things together. And so that is what makes him a little bit more stern. Bolin has been able to lean on Mako a little bit, and that gives him more of a freedom of character a little bit. It like allows him to be kinder. Mako is forced to have higher anxiety because he feels like everything's on his, on his shoulders. A lot of it comes down to the fact that Mako really internalized that big brother role. You know, like I am the caretaker and I have to keep everyone safe. I have to keep things together. Before I even consider helping you, I'll need you to do something for me. Oh, of course. What is it? I have a vault full of tax money sitting in a town south of here. Barbarians have stolen my past two shipments. Go collect my money and bring it back here. Yes, your majesty. What's the catch? There's something more to it. <laughs> that was unnecessary. <laughs> oh, I see. He uh, was like physically escorting her out. No, no, no. Here, sir. Let me help you. No, oh, thank you, young man. Thanks for your help. Kai! Get back here! Kai, it's us! 
Mako and Bolin! Your new family! <laughs> so naive. So innocent. This is cool. This is how you uh, get to know each other. Mako's chasing himself right now. I was just practicing my airbending. Yeah, right. Let's go. You're in big trouble. Mmm. <laughs> Cross the line there. Can attack your big brother. Your little brother, huh? Yeah, just a lovable little scamp, isn't he? Reminds me of my little brother. This is the express line to the lower ring. Next stop. This is good. This is good for everyone. Mako and Bolan get to relive their past, which is sometimes good, you know? Like, it'll trigger things that maybe they haven't thought about for a long time. Sometimes, like, even if you get through a major obstacle, in your life, there are always like threads that still link you to the past somehow that it's useful to like look at later once you've kind of matured a little bit and have new newer perspective. And moments like this kind of force the issue. Like Mako has to think about what it was like to be this kind of kid and solo Bolin. And it's good for Kai too, obviously, because he needs to go in the direction that Mako and Bolin did towards like, you know, just being more integrated into society in a way that's not self-destructive. And they get to go on a ride through Ba Sing Se, which is nice. I think that the uh, the gang had a similar trip. Let's see if we can catch a train back to the upper ring. Passports and tickets. We can pay. Hold on. Some things never change. Where's my money? Oh, no. No. Is that the remnants of the Dai Li? The bad news is, we're stuck here. The good news is, you can go to the bathroom wherever you want. <laughs> and the good news is we get to explore it, which is really cool. I don't talk about the aesthetics of Korra a lot, just because it's not really my lens, but while I have it in mind, I should point out that this is a really beautiful shot. It looks like a watercolor painting. Why is Mako sleeping like that? Man, it's been a while since we spent the night on a trash pile. I'm worried about Kai. He's just a little kid out there on his own. He's probably really scared. It's really interesting that Bolin's the one to say that. He's like projecting his own childhood innocence onto Kai. Because he was the vulnerable one. He was the one that needed taken care of. <laughs> yeah, well, not with all that money he stole. <laughs> He's doing great. I love bossing say. How do they make that bed look so comfortable? We might have to hustle up a little breakfast with the old fruit stand scam. I don't want any part of this. Besides, look at this fruit. It's disgusting. We don't want to steal this. <laughs> hey, you trying to steal my fruit? No, I just said I don't want any of this rotten fruit. Oh, you do good for my fruit? This is the best fruit on the block. Just try it, buddy. Are we stealing the fruit or not? Right. I knew it! Thieves! <laughs> I like this guy. He has a lot of character. What's going on here? Uh oh Lynn? No. Mako? Wait. How do you know our names? Yeah, I mean, I'm famous, so I get that. True. But how do you know his name? He's also famous. They're your cousins! My brother San's kids! That's interesting. I didn't expect that. Maybe they will meet Grandma after all. There he is! Flying around in his dragon, like a badass. Oh! Nice! I was actually wondering if we were going to see them again. Finally, something interesting happens. So they're the leaders now. We need to check on a secret ice prison in the western tundra. For some reason, it makes me really happy to think of Eska, Desna, and Zuko together. It's a weird pairing I never thought I would enjoy, but it's cool. Bolin, we love those nut tuck movers. They're hilarious. Yeah, they're not really comedies, but... Uh... Yeah, I could probably be a pro bender or an actor or something if I lived in a mansion in Republic City like you guys. Oh boy. You don't know what it's like here on the streets. All right. No way! Come in! Is it true? After all these years. They did meet Grandma, after all. Where is son and your mother? Wait, you mean... You don't know? They were killed when we were little. You here to pick up the tax shipment? Go ahead and load it on the airship. For our you got this. We're taking this gold back to Ba Sing Se. Oh, we love gals with spirit. So just south. Is that like a bad Australian accent? Is this a Mad Max tribute? Wow.
That was cool. You're on the wrong side of this fight, Avatar! That goal belongs to the people, not the Queen! Why do I get the feeling he's right? Hmm. Okay. She's a powerful firebender named Pali who can create Pali. explosions with her mind. Oh, like a Ironically, Uber Man. I hired a guy with a similar ability right. to kill the Avatar myself once. No reaction. Don't feel bad. I tried to kill Korra after she ruined my wedding. It happens. Is the here gonna show up? This is the last part of the crew, right? The intense cold prevents her from firebending. He's out, isn't he? Mm, I'm feeling warmer already. He sent this picture of you all on his birthday. Dad's wearing your scarf. I'm sure they would want you to have this. Well, that was touching. Even though Bolin joked about this, I didn't expect this to be a thing that they actually find family. It's really cool. It's touching to think that after this long of them being on their own, they actually can connect to some roots, you know? They actually have people who, who care about them and uh, who, who knew their parents. I could see them just wanting to stay in Ma Sing Se for a while. The Dai Li thoroughly searched the city, but it seems your reports were incorrect. There are no airbenders in Ma Sing Se. So, you right. can gather your little band and be on your way tomorrow. You make me do your dirty work, extorting your own citizens for your stupid palaces and topiaries, and then you just want to send me away? We're not going anywhere until we find some airbenders! Get her out of my sight! What is it about Bossing Say that makes it so tyrannical, and for the leaders to have such control over information? It's just part of their culture, I guess. We actually need to get back to the Avatar in the Upper Ring. We're supposed to be helping her find airbenders in Bossing Se. <gasps> One of our neighbors started airbending about a week ago. Two Dai Li agents come oh, out of nowhere no. and snatch him up. No one's seen him since. Some things never change. They say the Earth Queen's locking all the airbenders up somewhere. Don't talk like that about Her Majesty. Long may she reign. Is there a camera in there or something? <laughs> oh, he's gonna get caught as an airbender. He's in danger. Oops. We'll have these things. What's going on? I didn't do anything. From now on, you live to fight for the Earth Queen. It's over already? No! I had such high hopes for Bossing Say, I thought they would have improved by now. But it's just more of the same. But this time they don't even have a bear. But this will bring Korra head to head with the Earth Queen. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. And also to see how Bolin and Mako's new family will play into this. Because they're a part of this. They're wrapped up in it because they're part of the Earth. The lower rungs of the Earth Kingdom. Before the video ends, I want to give a very, very special thank you to everybody who signed up for the Goodwin Clan on Patreon. Thanks to all the amazing support I've been getting on Patreon. We're now going to go to five videos a week on YouTube, which is really exciting. So a very special shout out goes to R. Lewis, Xavier, Sherard Brown, Thorin Jonsson, Israel Blanco, Craig Bolton, George Bondo, and Henry Law. Thanks to all of you for all the love and support on the channel. See you soon for episode 4.